morning everybody it is wednesday the 16th of september i was about to say may very very wrong that is where my brain is still at my brain still thinks it's may it's not it's definitely autumn now it is wednesday the 16th of september i believe i just realized that keeping up with kardashians premieres tomorrow and now i'm very very excited about the date today <laughs> i've literally been waiting for this for about two months and yes i was very upset that it's ending soon and i don't want to talk about it because i might cry anyway hello welcome back to a new vlog I haven't vlogged in ages i will probably talk about why in an upcoming video but i'm just gonna park that for today and save it for another video today i have a bit of a like it's not a chill day but it's kind of like a quiet get stuff done kind of day and i'm like basically just prepping for autumn just going to be doing a lot of errands and just like making sure that i am ready for autumn because as much as it is one of my favorite seasons it is also one of the most eventful busiest and i don't i don't love being busy i'm not one of those people that's like been so productive been so busy loving life i no, no. i like being productive but i like a balance i love balance balance is just like the Libra in me loves it. It's very important to me to maintain like a stable level of like calm, organization, productivity. Sustainable is the word. Like I'm not one of those people that can just go hard constantly. I need to like step back every so often and make sure that I've really got my bearings on everything. And that is what today is for. I have a few errands to run. That was really hard to say. Well, I need to leave the house, go get some bits, pick up some stuff. I need to pop to my doctor's. There's going to be a lot of doctor's trips over the next couple of months. I also need to try and get a dentist appointment in before October starts because otherwise it's going to be like July by the next time I actually manage to go in. So yeah, today is just like taking a step back, organizing myself. I have an appointment with someone who is coming to do the final measuring for shutters on the house because I obviously I need that done before we kick into like autumn and winter as much as they are for privacy they will also help in terms of they are kind of like another layer of insulation which is very important going into the winter and my home is amazing for keeping things really cool like when we have heat waves we've had like a mini heat wave this week not that you would know by looking at the sky today because it's like grey AF the one day that I wanted to vlog and actually I wanted to show you something in the garden and it's just grey great I look at the weather forecast it says it's sunny like, I think they just don't update the weather for my area because it's such a random little area. But yeah, anyway, off track. I have a man coming to do the final measuring for shutters on the house in a couple of rooms that, like, they are just desperately needed. And then I'm going to have, like, some other solutions in other rooms. I also need to do all of the admin for the flooring. I'm getting flooring like this done in other rooms in the house so they can finally be used and finished off and, like, I can start kind of working on my office and wardrobe design and all of that and I'm I honestly I'm so excited I don't know which one I'm like more excited to start first if I'm very honest because the office like I love my organization and I love things having a place to go and all of my deliveries having a place to go and there being a system and right now there is just a room that has parcels in it <laughs> and lots of parcels and lots of makeup and it's absolute chaos it would also be nice not to have to work at my island but on the flip side i'm also just the most excited to have some kind of organizational system for my clothes that is not one rail in my bedroom it's getting a bit out of hand now if i'm very very honest but yeah those are my projects for like i'm gonna say winter by the time they get done because i have a rough pencil on when the flooring is being done and it's uh not immediately but that is what i've been up to a lot is just like lots of quotes for things and just lots of life tlc and today is just like basically a continuation of that so we have like the front of the house done obviously the garden has just been finished flooring is being done the shutters are hopefully being ordered today and i think that could happen pretty quickly which would be amazing i think shutters will help to make the house like really cozy and just feel really nice and just help the rooms to feel a bit more finished as well especially like the living room actually it doesn't jump out at you but the bedroom like it's really obvious that there, there is just nothing on the windows it's such a huge stretch of window and it's gonna get very cold so that is like my priority at the moment so yeah those are most of my house updates like i said the garden has been done if you haven't seen my garden renovation vlog i will pop that up here but i have a final update for you today which we're going to do together and i'm so excited there's a big well a couple of big boxes in my kitchen which i'm super excited to open with you we also have a little as you may have seen we have a little zara order which has arrived which is lots of lovely autumnal bits i don't know if i'm going to open that with you today i might save that for another video if you watched my things that i'm not buying from zara which was just a fun little video like i just wanted to do something a little bit different to what i would normally do but around retailer i know so many of you 
love. I see the back end and all my stats and I know what you guys love and I know that that is a retailer that you guys love. So I wanted to do something fun surrounding that but that was like a little bit different. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. But as you guys will know, if you watched that video is that I found a lot of things that I really did like on Zara and uh, had to like exit the video and be like, I need to just go and pick up these things. So fine. And there's been a really nice injection of all time pieces on there. So yeah, that has arrived i waited quite patiently for that over the past few weeks it took a little while to uh, get to me but i've also had a few other autumnal pieces arrive which i'm really excited to show you in this video so yeah basically we're just getting my house and me ready for autumn and yeah that is gonna be uh, our day together my god does anyone have it where your eyelashes just won't stop sticking together it doesn't happen every day why is that why does that happen can someone explain it to me so yeah i hope you enjoy spending the day with me let's go hi how are you doing? You look pretty today. She's like, I'm not talking to you. You've been ignoring me and working. By the way, yes, she does always look this scared. No, it's not me. She is the original anxiety dog. She's constantly operating at an eight, nine, 10. Aren't you? To kick off my autumnal updates to my home, I thought I'd show you, this is so like tertiary and some of you are gonna be like, this is the most boring update you've ever given. But I actually switched up my bench for autumn i didn't want to like change it too much because i loved it and obviously this kind of woven vibe is just something that is permanently staying and i think it can work all year round i switched out some eucalyptus there was like a palm leaf coming out of here i switched it out and added some eucalyptus and then i also switched my straw hat out and just added this fedora which is in the perfect color it goes really nicely with everything and just adds a slight more autumnal nod to the bench but without kind of making it look like something completely different that I never really wanted. Still fits the vibe of the room really nicely. show you what I've been doing. <laughs> Ignore the fairy lights. These, I will show you what they look like when they're on later. They look way cuter when they're actually on at night, but eventually I'd like to have them like strung across the top of the greenhouse. I just need to figure out the best way to kind of attach them. There's a couple of hooks up here, but not really much else other than that. So um, yeah, I need to figure that out, but look at these shelves. I'm so happy with them. These aren't actually like fully attached yet. So there's a wasp in my own greenhouse. So I'm just gonna film from the door because I don't wanna get stung and it's getting really aggressive because it's the one that's stupid and got stuck in my greenhouse. So yeah, I originally thought these shelves were gonna come like one big one. Like I measured it out based on that, but I think they actually are one big one once they are like fully like screwed in. Annoyingly, my top like shelf fixings are actually smaller than the bottom and I didn't realize that. I stupidly only measured one of them because to my eye, they looked the same. But yeah, I will link to the seller if you guys are interested i got them off amazon but there's a guy who makes these shelves and sells them on amazon he does a lot of like reclaimed wood furniture and stuff like that and this is exactly what i wanted for the greenhouse annoyingly i've popped this one just over there for now because until it's like fixed onto that shelf it's going to be a bit too wobbly and i'm a little bit scared it's just going to randomly fall down so yeah that is the greenhouse pretty much ready for autumn also before people start freaking out no i'm not going to water my plants on the wood do not worry people but yeah i think i'm actually going to get like a little timer to put on my power source in here so that the lights can come on on a timer if i want them to and then it kind of reminds me to come out here to water things do anything i need to do but also just like lights the garden really beautifully but yeah i'm going to check that that's safe to do but i think that would be such a lovely idea so that like at a certain time of the day in the winter it just automatically lights up i think that would be so beautiful so yeah that is how my greenhouse is looking what a transformation from what it used to look like yeah veg patch is doing its thing i'm not sure if i'm any good at being a vegetable mom yet if i'm honest but yeah we'll see how i go my lettuce is the only one that really looks like it's thriving right now i would say also the tomatoes but little too late hun so i know the greenhouse isn't going to get a ton of action throughout the winter i just don't really know if there's a lot i can grow so basically throughout winter just trying to keep my current plants alive but then when it gets to like early springtime, i'm going to be spending a lot of time out there and i was so excited yeah so that is the greenhouse ready for autumn and winter if it ever arrives because right now we're having some real summer weather like my plants are kind of in shock i feel like they're all trying to have like a second flowering and it's a bit crazy yeah now i have a lot of cardboard so i'll 
So the shutter man has been, my shutters are being ordered. It's gonna be a long way, which, oh. He has great timing, really great timing. Please, please hold. Okay, let's try this again. Honestly, whenever I do the following things, my phone or the door will go. <laughs> get changed. Particularly if I take my trousers off, it just seems to be there's a knock at the door and then you're like in this really panicked scramble to put clothes on, you know? Needing to pee, don't need to pee. Honestly, I'm just gonna stop going to the toilet because every time I do, someone knocks at the door and Nala loses her mind. She's very happy. It's all a bit of an ordeal. Number three, start vlogging because someone will call me. So where was I? I think I was talking about how long the shutters are going to take, which I knew that they would take a while, but I was expecting it to just be like maybe a couple of weeks, but it's obviously going to be a bit longer, but they will be done well in time for Christmas, which will be amazing. So a little bit of a wait, but I'm quite good at being patient. And as long as I know that they're booked in, it's fine. And actually it gives me more time to have like more light in this room and film more style videos, because this is like the brightest room in the house and I love it. And I know that the shutters are going to take away from that slightly, like I can open them up but right now because of my window situation which you guys don't really see but I get a lot of light a lot of light and I will miss that but I do ultimately think it's the best stylistic choice for the property and yeah that's just what that is what I'm going for I've made my decision and I'm just sticking with it so yeah that's very exciting that is all sorted the greenhouse is all sorted my other half of my Zara order turned up so I'm very happy with that because I knew that there weren't enough boxes when it turned up I was like I definitely ordered like two pairs of shoes and usually they warrant like a box each to be honest so the other two turned up literally five minutes ago which is great so now i just need to finish off a few work bits there's stuff for projects that i need to order in so that i actually have the stuff and can do the jobs so i need to get that all sorted and then i'm gonna go to the shop get myself some food it's been a nice productive morning i'm very happy with myself i really feel like i'm ticking this month i think i've done more than I did in the first half of 2020. I have got so much ticked off my list. So yeah, getting a lot done at the moment and actually working like very, I would say very smartly, like not doing the most hours, whereas I have been a lot over the past kind of three months, but it's just feeling a bit more balanced at the moment. So I'm feeling good and I'm excited to hopefully finish up a little bit early today so that I can read some more of my book, which I'm really excited to tell you guys about because I feel like I haven't spoken to you about a book in so long and i'm really enjoying this one it's not super eventful like silent patient which was just incredible i always check behind me in videos to see how messy my island is it's actually pleasantly surprising it's not a tip today but i'm reading someone we know which is a bit of a slow burner but for some reason i am just really invested in it i'm really enjoying it i've got you can see the little fold mark i literally have about a fifth left so i'm hopefully going to get the chance to finish that this evening So I am done working for the day. I got to the point where I finished my whole to-do list and normally the old Sue's back in the day, you know, pre-corona pre times would have like carried on working for like an extra hour just on like anything. I've got hair on my lip. It's having a dog. It is having a dog. I just always have a little bit of dog hair somewhere on my face. Yeah, as I was saying, old me would have like carried on working for, you know, like, well, let's do an extra hour and work on this. And then it would have been like two hours later and it's like eight o'clock and no one's come home. So I'm just like sitting still working. And now once I finish my to-do list, it's usually around time that an average, like normal human being would be like, I'm done for the day. It's past five. That's it. So that is me now. That is my working strategy. That is how I'm actually like living a sustainable working life these days because I just find everything super overwhelming because we've spent so much time with so few decisions made in a day like there's so little to kind of like think about like life was quite boring quite frankly i get decision fatigue really quickly now and my brain just feels tired more i feel tired more so this is my way of like getting back to normal life is just like sustainably working smarter not ridiculously hard to the point where i'm just gonna burn out in like two weeks like i said earlier i'm excited to read my book this evening i'm gonna run a bath which i actually haven't done ever in this house but I'm really in the mood for it. So I'm gonna run myself a bath, put a hair mask in because my hair, I went and uh, went for a walk in the sun yesterday and my yellow is starting to come through. So I'm gonna put a purple hair mask in. I'm gonna have a bath, I'm gonna water my plants, I'm gonna make some tacos. There's a recipe that I really wanna try and it looks really like super simple. So yeah, that is gonna be my evening. Oh my God, this is so exciting. This literally gets cleaned all the time even though it gets absolutely no action. So I'm excited. <laughs>
So this morning I have been getting ready for autumn. In terms of fragrance in my home, I have just popped out this White Company Fireside Diffuser into my living room. I have had this for maybe a month and I've been so excited to get it out and smell it because I'd actually never had this one before. I was just on the White Company website and I saw it and I was like, that sounds like it's right on my street and it really, really is like, I want this whole range, like I need the whole set. I think they will be on my birthday and Christmas list for the rest of my life. It's a mix of that like smoky smell with vanilla and it is honestly incredible, can't recommend it enough. I've also just taken a couple of little olive branches that were looking a bit ropey on my olive trees and I've just popped them into this little vase which I think I got sent as part of a PR package and it had a sticker on it, I've taken it off and it just makes the perfect little branch vase branch vase is that a thing but how cute does that look the light in here is really nice today so it's really like helping out this table just looks so cute and then as you will have seen we also have the autumn scent which i have had a lot in the past i have this diffuser in my bedroom and then i also have my pumpkin pie candle over here i love any kind of like autumny scent and this one smells so delicious i think i get these off amazon if anyone is interested but yeah i'm basically on a candle ban because they kind of ruin your house which is why i go for diffusers more but obviously i want to use the candles that i already have so yeah so excited that autumn is basically here for me it doesn't start until october officially but you know we're about a week off so i'm excited to finally have this out my rail is also looking very non-summery finally which i'm really really happy about some of you might have seen my autumn outfits like transitional summer to autumn outfits video so you might recognize a few of these pieces if you haven't seen it i will pop it in the top corner for you guys but there's actually a few new things that i wanted to show you you will have also seen some of this from my birthday dress choosing my birthday dress video which has just recently gone up i'll link that if you haven't seen it as well but i have a few new bits that i wanted to show you and i haven't tried on yet so i had this h&m order arrive a few days ago and i've just been saving it for you guys this jacket i'm very excited to try on i think it's going to be one of those items that if it hasn't already it's going to fly out of stock on h&m and then we also have this lovely autumnal colored knit don't take a shot every time i say autumnal in this video or do but it's at your own risk i take no responsibility for you guys getting drunk anyway so yeah i'm really excited to try that on at first i was like is this going to be itchy it looks like it could be an itchy one but actually upon feeling it i'm not so sure we could have a winner here and if we do i will be a very happy girl because the chunky collar on this is just stunning and the color of it is oh everything everything we then also have this little white puff sleeved knit and you guys will know if you watch my vlogs this time last year or like early 2020 i love a knit with a puff sleeve i can't wait to get my gray one from zara out actually i need to dig that out because i love it but i love a white you guys know it's definitely one of my favorite um shades tones i can't really call it a color what do i call it it's definitely my favorite to wear anyway so i got this in a size small this in a size small and this i think in a medium Oh, small wow ballsy i really hope that that is an okay size because i want to be able to fit knitwear underneath and i have also just pulled out a few bits from the room of doom which some of which i think will style really well with these so i've got a couple of pairs of leather leggings trousers these are both from zara and then i've got my top shot midi dress from last winter this is in a size small if it is still in stock i will link it but I can't wait to wear this with a pair of chunky boots and a slick back bun. I just love that vibe. I'm gonna really, really enjoy that for autumn, I can already tell. So yeah, I've pulled those out, but I think these trousers I'm gonna try on with these bits and I'll show you guys what they look like. So this is what the white puff sleeve jumper looks like. I love it. I love it. I don't, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> of course I was gonna love it. In terms of styling, I've paired it with a classic combo for me my zara leather leggings these are like the thicker kind of ones that have a button and a zip and then some zara chunky boots from last year which fortunately the chunky boot trend is here to stay for another year and i'm so happy about it because it's one of my favorite trends and it works really nicely with knitwear but also like these puff sleeve knits i think they're a very feminine silhouette so this helps to balance it out a bit and add a little bit of toughness to the look and i just I just love it. This is definitely a winner for me. It's nice and thick. It's not itchy. It feels really nice. It looks so cute. I love the square neckline and I love that it's the same on the back as well. And this is the kind of burnt orangey brownie. I'm going to go with that. It's brown. What am I saying? It's brown. This is the brown knit and I'm wearing this with nothing on underneath and so far so good. It doesn't feel too itchy. I think 
we're gonna get along nicely together. So this, so far, is a winner. I'm really happy with the sizing. This is tucked at the moment. I'll show you what it looks like when it's untucked. It's not too long at all, really. If you wanted a bit more length, I would say to just go up a size because this would probably be a little bit longer on me if I had picked a medium, but I just didn't want it to be too, it's oversized as it is, you can see. I didn't want it to be too much more chunky underneath coats because otherwise, just realistically, I'm not gonna get a coat on over this unless it's a really oversized coat. And then I just basically look like I'm wearing my parents' clothing, if that makes sense, because everything just looks too long and too oversized on me and it just looks silly. But do you know what I'm really excited about for this autumn is the fact that my knitwear will no longer make my long hair like go all matted and have me brushing it every five seconds. They don't touch each other. This is great. I might have to have the hair cut every five minutes, but at least I won't be brushing it every five minutes. You win some, you lose some. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. It's so cute. This is the coat. It looks a little bit much with the leather trousers, I'm not gonna lie, because this is like a faux leathery kind of effect. It's got a slight grain to it, which does mean that it's not too shiny, which is great. I do like this. It is a little bit bulky on me, I think, especially because it's a small, and I definitely would say it feels more like a winter coat to me than an autumnal jacket. It's very, very thick. Thankfully, it does have a tight waist, so you can cinch yourself in a little bit. But yeah, I'm not sure on this one at first. I really liked it, and now I'm not so sure. It's definitely one that I would wear more with black jeans as opposed to leather trousers and because of the cream faux fur lining I would say you're probably better off wearing like a, a chunky knit in a neutral or a lighter color more than a black if you're going to wear anything black underneath you want to check the material first and see if the fur sheds against it because I know from experience I've got a lot of ribbed black polo necks and this kind of material is going to shed all over them so definitely something to consider I would love to know your thoughts on this one I'm really really not sure I think because it is a leather I am probably quite limited in what I could pair with it because I couldn't do leather trousers and leather boots because this this is too much yeah let me know what you think I'll link it if it's still available because I think so many people are gonna love this just having some lunch I don't know if I showed you this last night but I made turkey taco salad and it's really yummy if I haven't said it already I'll link in the input box. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. I've made it. I'm so excited. I properly get a Friday feeling now, which is the best. It's the best feeling. This morning, so far, it's still very early, but I have thrown some makeup on. It's very glowy today. And I've also been testing out Waves. I've got the GHD Rise. I bought this when it launched because I was so excited about it. They've since sent me one, but I was that excited <laughs> about it. I was like, do you know what? I might not get sent this and I'm just going to buy it because I really want it. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, honestly, it's all going on today. We've got trees being cut down. So it is noisy, not my trees. I don't, I have one tree. It's a lemon tree. It's in a pot, but someone is having their trees cut down. So today might not go to plan. But anyway, I bought it myself because I was really, really excited to try this. It just seemed like the perfect styling tool for if I wanted to do my curled under bob. And then if you want to do like curls or if my hair grows longer and I want like a blowout look, which I really do like. Like. in terms of like a straight blow dry I love that on like long hair or like if you have like feathered ends which I know is very 90s but that if I go long again that would be the hairstyle where it's like swishy and you can kind of like barrel in if that makes sense or even just like a slight flick to the ends I just think is really nice and not like one for curls really but I thought I would test it out and just see how it would do if I wanted to do a curl because I really like how it's doing my sleek bob if I'm just touching up my bob and I'm not doing it completely from scratch like dried hair from where I've washed it otherwise that is like that is long because I like to work in small sections but what I normally do is if I'm doing a sleek bob and I've like washed my hair first day I'll straighten it just give it like a really light straighten but just to make sure because the bob is so like perfect that it can't have like random waves in it like it just you notice you notice like I did a before and after because I've been using the Kerastase purple shampoos I'm actually working with them on that and it's so great it's like a really great like non-drying purple shampoo it's amazing but in my before and after there's literally like one bit of hair that's not like perfectly bobbed and it bugs me like and I notice it and I'm not really like a picky person in terms of that but I notice it so yeah day one we'll like just straighten it and curl the ends under but then to top up this is so much quicker and gives a way more uniformed look to the bob when I'm curling it under so I really like it for that but I thought I'd 
see how well it does at like waves on shorter hair and i'm not really one for i don't love curls so this side is looking a bit poofy for me if i'm honest but this side i actually it's just got a subtle you can't really see in this light i just took a picture of it so i'll pop it on screen but it's got like a subtle wave to it and i really like that i have just popped dry shampoo in it though and i feel like that's really hindering up my styling today i feel like dry shampoo makes my hair too dry to the point where it won't hold anything but yeah i really like the ghd rise I really rate it just in case you all wanted an update because i think i posted about it on instagram and everyone was like can i get a tutorial i might do like an instagram something maybe but yeah i'll probably show you at some point in an upcoming vlog if you guys want to see that i'm sure there will be a get ready with me where i'll show you that is what i've been doing so far this morning and i've got i think about three videos to film today so not one to ease into the weekend me do you know what this feels like i'm seeing this bed as my backdrop and uh this hair literally feels like i'm back in like 2017 and that's not really a year i want to relive if i'm very honest i'm probably like the only person that associates like hair with like memories <laughs> and like points in my life probably the only person that does that if you do do that let me know because i'd be so interested to know if i'm just a freak but anyway i also have a little bit of housekeeping to do with you firstly I didn't want to end this vlog without just answering probably my most asked question at the moment which is why has your channel name changed and to put it simply because I wanted to it, there's literally no like lots of people like well maybe she's gonna go in a different direction and, blah, and I was like no no guys nothing is changing and I think lots of you have already realized that right now nothing is changing i just literally wanted to change my channel name because i've been and i've said this to someone because someone asked about in my it went up in my last video for you guys but it went up yesterday for me my trying on my birthday dresses video i get a lot of questions on my boobs and the fact that they don't look like they did a few years ago <laughs> mostly because they are just like huge some of the time now this is related i swear but in the comments i explained why but i also explained i've been on the internet since i was 19 and so much has changed since then we've had obviously as things happen over decades we've had multiple weight fluctuations which means your face changes your face changes over 10 years anyway no one looks the same way they did when they were 19 literally no one i love a good stalk of people that i went to school with as much as the next person <laughs> and i can guarantee you no one looks exactly the way they did 10 years ago we are nearing 10 years next year it will be a decade on youtube is it next year next next summer a decade on youtube we're like in the home run for the decade now so of course my body is going to have changed my face looks different but also i am different very different how i was when i was 19 when i was 19 i mean we've all watched my early videos well actually you might not have but I literally was like um so i like this eyeliner uh, and i was really scared and i didn't want anyone to know that i was making youtube videos so i made them under hello october and i i'm done with that now like i'm happy that everyone like everyone knows that i am me i don't have to worry about employers being funny about it i don't have to worry about kids from school knowing because quite frankly everyone everyone knows i live in what i consider to be quite a small area so everyone knows and I'm not worried about it anymore. And it just felt like I've got my eyelashes are sticking together again today. It just felt like something I've really outgrown. And I know some people love the good old days of YouTube and I know it's like a throwback to that, but that's not like the reason to hang on to my channel name because that was basically the only reason that I was really because I was worried that other people wouldn't like it. But actually I don't like Hello October. I don't like being addressed as October. I don't really like being addressed as Hello October. I would rather people just called me Susie. And the amount of people that were like, when I changed my name were like, oh, I never actually realized that that was your name. I never realized, I never really thought that you had a name. I've been on YouTube for a decade. I've been on the internet for more than a decade now with various different vlogs and things. It's about time you knew my name. So there is no other reason to the name change apart from the fact that I would really like you to call me by my name instead of getting messages that are like, hi, October. Hi, hello, October. Saw your mate, hello, October the other day. I don't love it. I feel like it's respectful to like know someone's name and call them by their name. So yeah, literally no other reason other than that. And my final bit of housekeeping is something that I'm really excited to share with you, but I'm doing a charity walk in October and it's for the charity Calm and it is a charity that is very close to mine and my friend's hearts. So if you do have a few spare pennies and you would like to donate anything to it, I'm going to leave a link to our page in the info box below and I would love it if you could check it out. So that is about it for today's updates. This is what I'm wearing this morning i'll pop the link to this in the info box if you want it but i'm about to change so that i can film some videos literally just throw it on the second i got up because i was scared that the postman was going to come and i was just going to be in like my skims yeah i love it it's really cute good morning 
Good morning. Would you like to say hello and goodbye to the peoples? Give them a wave. Go on. Go on. Oh, the light in here is so much better. Why did I not film in here? Actually, because a tree is being cut down, so that's why. It stopped. Okay, we are a go. I am going to love you and leave you here because I have got a busy day of filming ahead of me. But I hope you're all doing really, really well. It was nice to see you again in a vlog because I feel like I haven't done that in a while. But yeah, I'll be back with you very, very soon. I hope you're all having the best day. That is it from me today. Love you, bye.